Welcome to Let's Play, where we want to talk to you about Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play. Um, we're going to get started here with what we played this week. But first, I want to introduce everybody. Sorg, how's it going, Sorg? How's I'm here. Going? Sorg is here. Thank you, Sorg. Hi, Sorg. I, yes, Sorg. I'm here. Hi, I'm, Sorg. And instead of playing video games this week, video games this week, I read comic books. So I had to pick my geekiness. Back to you, oh. Bobby. Also joining us is Riz. Riz, how you doing? Hallelujah, my internets are working. Yay. Praise be the internet gods. Well, if we're going to bring religion into this, we're going to play the challenge later. We're going to talk about the challenge later. And once again, Chachi, how you doing, Chachi? I'm doing well. How are you guys? I am good. Uh, right. Got a thing on my... Uh... No, never mind. Let's not talk about things. Personal, personal <laughs> things. <laughs> All right, guys, what did you guys play this week? Well, we know Sorg didn't play anything, so Sorg. I read Deadpool! Sorg, Damn it, I'm so sorry! I have a subscription and a library card. All right, Sorg, Chachi, what did you play? you play this week? No! Uh, Sorg. This week, I played uh, Google Glass. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not a game. <laughs> um, uh, Dead Rising... Um, Candy Crush, Plants vs. Zombies 2, Marvel's Avengers Alliance, and today I downloaded Happy World, Happy War, um, which was a mistake because I found out it's a freemium game for Xbox, mm -hmm. and I downloaded uh, Arcade Craft. Yeah, oh, okay. That's a good game. I told everybody about that weeks ago. Yeah. What do you think of it so well, far? I listened. It's fun. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not very good at it. My arcade sucks. Yeah, um, mine mine was hurt for a while there, too. <laughs> so. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Riz, what'd you play? Uh, my taste this week has been quite varied. For one thing, as of right now, what I'm playing at this moment is the Muppets. It's a freemium type game Aww. for the iOS and Android. <laughs> uh, you make the Muppet Band. You had Sorg until you said freemium. I know. <laughs> I like Sorg's reaction to freemium. <laughs> no, but still, you can you can play. I thought it was a new thing. Remember, remember our discussions before. But no, this is actually one of the. I, I thought I was going to hate this game, but I don't. But also. Uh, as I said, my, my tastes are quite extreme because besides the Muppets, I have been playing gratuitous amounts of Saints Row 4, and I just started playing Payday 2. Can, wait, wait. Can I, can I, can I interject here? Interject. Uh, I, I'm looking for the Muppet Show. Is it My Muppet Show? My Muppet Show. Okay, because there's also Tap Tap Muppets. Uh, no, Band-Aid Magic Vision starring the Muppets. Um, yeah, and that gives us some Sesame Street stuff. So, it's oh, my, Grover's it, number special. Oh, Grover, Grover is the most underrated Muppet. This is true. This is true. <laughs> he was Elmo before Elmo. I don't know about that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey, Bobby. Great. Yes. What have you been playing? I have been playing Avengers Alliance, of course. Simpsons Tapped Out, of course. Both freemium games. Uh, freemium. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Saints Row freemium. 4. A lot. I played a lot of Saints Row 4, which is awesome. Uh, thanks for the yeah. heads up on that one, Riz. Uh, I played the NHL, or NHL... I almost said 94 demo, but it, there is a ni NHL 94 mode on it. Um, but the NHL 13, 14 demo. Uh, and I played the challenge this week, which was Bible Adventures. Mm-hmm. So, um, oh. did anybody else play Bible Bible Adventures? Nope. Sorg? Nope. There's only one Bible game that I acknowledge. What's that? What's Bible that? games for Xbox. Oh. Never played that. Oh. You should. Oh. But, um, it's awesome. Since I was the only one to play Bible Adventures, I'm going to give you my feedback on it. The game actually holds up. What? It's, it's what? fun. I had fun playing this game. A lot what? better than a lot better than the last challenges. Okay. Yeah. Moses is a beast because he's super strong okay. and he can lift cows. He can lift horses. He's running around he can, with a sheep in the video here. He can lift monkeys. The only thing he can't pick up are pigs because they, I think they grease them. 
<laughs> and it, like he has to like almost Come catch me, he has to almost kick the pigs into wherever he needs them to go into the ark. Mm-hmm. Um, so so you got that 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 part of the game. I did I didn't play um, Moses as a baby because mm-hmm. I just didn't get to it and I didn't have time. But I did play David versus Goliath, which is also David picking up sheep. Which I think is what we're showing here in the video. Yeah, I, I don't know why he picks up sheep. And, but he doesn't throw him at Goliath, unless it's further on in the game. But mm-hmm. o- overall, I, I think the game holds up. I, I think it's a fun game. It would be a fun, like, independent game if it were, if it were released today. Really? Oh, so, 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 so I, I enjoyed it. So it's just like a fun little fa- uh, platformer then? Yeah. That's yeah, cool. It, it, it's a fun little platformer. It's a lot better than um, Blues Brothers, the Blues Brothers game last week because you can wow. actually – Jump up things. I'm trying to remember. Was this an official so, like Nintendo game? I felt like this was no. a weird third party one, right? It, 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 it was a third, third party game? Nintendo game. Okay. Uh, um, but speaking of third party, oh no, uh, maybe even fourth party next week. Our, our, oh, our no. challenge is Probably Action not. 52. Yes. Oh my god. 52 games in one. Has anybody played this before? No. No. <laughs> anybody? Nobody here had this thing, right? Now, I mean, no. I mean, I had I had cousins that they had like Comerica four pack games. They had like Dizzy, Ad- Amazing Adventures of Dizzy and Super Robin Hood and stuff like that, and they were pretty cool, pretty good NES games, right? They were third party. They weren't official at all. Uh, and this one was fifty two games packed onto a cartridge. Yeah, um, and it's there is a game with same. a cheetah guy. Yeah, the cheetah guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was same uh, four games. You would see this in the back of the Game Pro, and you're like, oh, how did they do that? <laughs> and you see the picture on the front, as we usually do with the NES stuff, saying, saying. Wow, that looks really cool, and we are so wrong. Uh, so I, I don't know, I, the, Bobby. Yes. Well, back to you because I lost. I lost Chachi. Got to bring him back. Oh no, we lost Chachi. Um, but yeah, Chachi, it, no. was, it was enjoyable. So, um, I, I highly recommend uh, Bible Adventures. Excellent. So, um, and and if you would like to join us pl- by playing um, Action Fifty Two. Yep, wherever you might find it. Godspeed. I, I want to say. <laughs> I want to say Chachi left. Because you said Bible Adventures was a good game, yeah, <laughs> possibly, possibly. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. So, um, all right, it's time to move on to things that you should be made aware of this week. Hell of a what, what, what time was it? Loot crate, crate time. time. Yeah, what did you guys get? <laughs> so, what? I, I was really happy with this uh, as a as a Portal fan. Yeah, but. The one thing, the one gripe I had with it, I I was hoping for a Portal T-shirt because they kind of teased Portal with the whole T-shirt thing. Did they? But I, I'm yeah. Caffeine. I, well, that's what I caffeine, gathered caffeine, from caffeine. it. But it was it was caffeine. Yeah. Which eh, I'm not a coffee drinker, but eh, I like okay. that one. Caffeine's I and like chai lattes. Yeah, yeah. It was it was fine. It, it was, was fine. Good, it was a good loot crate. But the best the I mean, best thing in the, I... the loot crate was the mini Walking Dead figure. I thought. Now, what did you get? I got Crawling Zombie. Riz, what did you get? I got Merle. You got Merle? I got the best one, I think. What did you get? Daryl Dixon. Ah! With a little crossbow. (laughs) There you go. Um, Yeah, it was just, it was, I I like that there is the new uh, little magazine. To give us a yeah, little more information, yeah. it's more than just a card. More than the, yeah, I mean that that that's kind of cool. It's upping that a little bit. Uh, you know, something a little collectible right. to go with it. Once again, they had a lot of fun with the stickers. Uh, the keychain thing was just in time because my Transformers Universe one uh, just broke like oh, two wow. days ago. Uh, so that I got from like Comic Con two years ago. So I'm digging that. And uh, as I said, I'm going to wear my Aperture uh, uh, tattoo. Uh, along with my Kevin Nash tattoo that I haven't worn yet that I got from Dutters. Um, so there was a lot of cool stuff in this. There was, there was. I, I really, it would. But yeah, again, the food disappoints me. I, mean, I remember the first one was like this, you know, perky jerky and all kinds of stuff I never yeah. heard of. Oh, and I was like, on. ah, here's a little bag come of Jelly Bellies. Come which, on, yeah. it's Jelly it's, Belly. It is, but I, yeah, but my wife belly. took them. It was a fortune cookie they're size. Be- they're free food, sort. That's true. It, it, was, free. it was a fortune, fortune cookie them. size jelly belly. Fortune what? It was fortune cookie size jelly bellies. <laughs> that, that's true. Because it was kind of small. 
enjoy the five jelly beans and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best damn jelly Harry beans Potter. you're going to get, right? At least, like, at least well, they well, weren't the Harry Potter ones. Like, that, that's what I thought they were at first. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to eat these. Because yeah. I thought, because one was green, like dark green. I'm like, that's not going to taste good in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, but no, a really good loot crate this time, I thought. Uh, it, it's it's really, uh, I, I'm, I'm con- constantly happy with it. You know, there's a couple things I proactively use, like like the keychain and everything, the shirts. I, you know, I'm still wearing the Deadpool Kool-Aid Man one here to this yeah, show. You do. know, I love that. Uh, uh, again, the only problem is my wife technically buys them for me. Uh, so she has first dibs on stuff like the caffeine shirt. <laughs> Uh, she's worn it like twice already. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's been washed. Uh, so, <laughs> so that gives you an idea of what how it goes in my household. Uh, but still, it, it, yeah, it's nice. I got nice little you know doohickeys. You know, I got Green Lantern from a few months ago playing with my little zombie dude. Um, so no, it's a nice mix, and it's uh, I I think. Uh, I think you guys are kind of along with me, like about all things geek. So mm-hmm. anything they put in there, really, at this point, is going to be you know pretty happy with, right? Uh, did anybody yeah. notice um, the uh, there are other loot crate type things now? Uh, yeah, like there is a manly kind of loot crate that's like forty bucks a month, and it says this is the box of everything to show you how to be a man. Uh, <laughs> there's been stuff like this forever. Uh, um, burst okay. box, which is uh, a makeup box. Okay. Uh, it, it's the same thing along the line of a, a bacon of the month club or what have you mm. not. Okay. Uh, and so, I mean, the stuff has the been month. there for a while. It's just, it finally reached this point. We, we asked Chachi here for a second. So Chachi, uh, we, we, everybody else chimed in. What was your take on this month's loot crate? Oh, uh, I lost my t-shirt already. What? Oh no. Um, it's in, a, it's in, uh, Elizabeth. Really? Or, not Elizabeth. Uh, wherever we filmed IWC at. Um, yeah, Elizabeth. And, yeah. Because um, I wore it, and then I uh, left it there. Oh, we can call it and now find out. Elizabeth is yeah. wearing your t-shirt. So, we'll see. But, uh, what yeah, Walking so Dead figure did you get? I got uh, Merle. Nice. Um, oh. knife, knife arm Merle. Yeah. Was it zombie knife arm or regular? No, regular. Riz, did you get regular or knife arm? Oh, sorry, we lost him oh, for a second. There he is. Knife arm. Knife arm? Knife you got arm. knife arm. Regular Merle. Regular Merle. I got Merle. knife arm. Ching, 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 ching. All right, um, the, our next thing you should be Staff. made aware of. <laughs> hey, we should say, if you want, you guys want Loot Crate, you want to participate in this as well, it is yeah. lootcrate.com. Loot Crate. L O T Crate. Oh, yes. another, another one that's starting up is uh, Shirt Punch has one now too. Shirt Punch has one now too. Like, yeah, it's called Nerd Block. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know how good that one would be, but it's a little more expensive. So. Yeah. Yeah, and it's from I'll, Canada. So. I'll stick from the Loot Crate. <laughs> All right. Um, our next thing we, you should be made aware of. Um, I started playing indie games on our site. Um, with the best graphic ever. Yeah, it, it's me as Mario, um, but it's games you should be made aware of. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do one every um, Saturday. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna be uh, reviewing as I play Xbox Live indie arcade games. And these are these the, are technically these are, these are like the Let's Play kind of things, right? Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. Like basically, it was his first game here. Uh, the first one I played was um, Action Arcade Wrestling Two. I played the first Action Arcade Wrestling. Um, it was it was pretty decent. I gave it a three point five out of five. Um, Whoa. They they upgraded the graphics pretty pretty good, so yeah. I, I will play them whether they're good or bad, and and let you know how to whether to pick them up or, or to avoid them. It, it looks smooth. I, you can't really see on the stream we had playing here, but I was surprised how fluid the movements were. Everybody mm-hmm. looks small, but it's interesting. Very interesting characters in the game too. Uh, can I ask? Have you tried Fire Pro Wrestling on the Xbox? Yeah, yeah. it's a little weird. Um, it's kind of interesting because uh, yeah, I grabbed the demo and uh, you actually wrestle as your Xbox avatar. Yeah, which yeah. is kind of interesting. And you, like, yeah. you turn it into uh, it's a little goofy, but it's still Fire Pro. And I always heard good things about Fire Pro, like back on I, the PlayStation. I miss the old Fire Pro though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it's, it's something. Yep. 
Yep. So it, it's cool to see these kind of alternate uh, wrestling games cropping up again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, friends of Mayhem Show, Serious Parody, are actually doing a kind of more customizable one uh, for PlayStation Three. That should that should be coming yeah, out I sometime that, soon. Yeah. So um, that's awesome. You know. Yeah, I'll check that one out too because I have a PlayStation Three. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, moving on to our news segment, um, yeah. Riz, I think you had a story about Saints Row, which we both played this week. I, it was not more of a story, but of an review, adventure. Review. Okay. An adventure into one of the better games I've played this year. Okay. I'm not saying it's the best. <laughs> I'm saying it's good. I'm not saying it's, but it's a little bit more than good. It's great. Okay, so what, what makes this game so great? Um, there is. It it makes you a superhero. <laughs> what? It makes you into a superhero. Okay. Also, the president of the United States and the president. <laughs> now, I, now, what is I, what has been the premise? Like, I always thought Saints Row was kind of like a GTA kind of knockoff. What? It, what? It, how? What is the general it, premise? Pre, uh, uh, a general premise, and it sounds like it changed a lot going into this uh, fourth iteration, it right? It did, but it started off as a GTA knockoff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like from GTA one to GTA two, they were saying this is the one of the like a GTA knockoff of you know the, their generation. Yeah. Of that thing, but from their uh, they started building up a reputation of going to the extreme on some occasions on th- at three, and they started building up to what we see now, which is just a clusterfuck of just <laughs> nonsense. Like, you're the president of the United States. You fight aliens. <laughs> you get abducted by aliens. You get superpowers to fight aliens. And then you have to take back the world. My head hurts just saying that. So this is just like but, a fairly irreverent video game. It gets yeah. It's, it's a it, cross. Oh, good. It's from the way I looked at it, from the time I've played on it so far. It's a. It's kind of like a. They're parroting a lot. Mm-hmm. They're parroting. They're, they're not. They're not copying GTA. They're not copying all the other games. They're just parroting it now, because the, the 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 wackiness in this. Like I told Bobby. I Bobby. Mm-hmm. Did you do that thing I told you no, to do? I haven't played it since you told me to do that yet, but I'll have to do, do that You should do that soon. thing, because yeah. you can romance stuff. Romance stuff? <laughs> stuff. Now, now stuff. Mm-hmm. Not people. It's kind of like it's kind of like the Mass Effect part of the game. Yeah, okay. it's, it, it's it's parroting Mass Effect as, mm-hmm. long, as well as uh, GTA and other games in that and realm. movies and movies because there's the, and there's movies. a Matrix part mm-hmm. uh, and also uh, there there are different outfits that you can wear. Mm-hmm. R- right now, I'm a masked luchador wearing a Roddy Wright Piper shirt <laughs> and I think, I think I'm dressed as a hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> but yeah, dog? If, if you have the money to go out and buy this game. I'm I, I'm sold on it. It's good time filler before GTA Five comes out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. And I uh, I can't think of anything else to play right now except for Payday Two, which I will have a review on this week. Excellent. Look out for that. It's going to begin. dot com. Plugging. <laughs> All right. Um, our next story is um, one that I wrote today. Um, do you guys have ten dollars lying around? Mm-hmm. Um, and well, like actually, clothing? you have to actually buy Madden first. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> um, so like seventy dollars. Seventy dollars, yeah. If you have yeah. seventy dollars lying around, you you can buy Madden t- twenty five that come out today. If you okay. want to upgrade it for the Xbox One when it comes out, it's only going to be ten dollars. What? What? Xbox announced today that um, if you trade in your game. You can buy the Xbox One version for 
ten dollars. And this isn't like some kind of GameStop thing, right? Because I think I heard mm-hmm. something about like somebody else was doing something similar to this, right? I, I guess they're just going to do it everywhere. Okay. Um, it, it, it's it's a new uh, incentive for for people that want to want to buy something on a 360, play it now, and then not have to wait till the um, Xbox One comes out in order to get the game, you know, and, and play it. I think it's a good a good program. Yeah, you know, it makes sense for this. I mean, think about yeah. how many people are going to get mad in day of. They mm-hmm. don't want to rate. Uh, uh, how long is it? Uh, how long is Madden going to be out before the Xbox One? In the long run. It, um, well, the the next story we have is uh, <laughs> actually they released the release date for okay. the Xbox One. Okay. Um, which we can kind of tie into this. It's November eighth. Um, November eighth. So and Madden um, comes out when? Like October? I, I think Madden comes out um, day one launch, maybe. I'm not sure. I, I, mean, I, mean, no, I mean, 360, 360 version. Oh, the 360 one comes out today. Comes out today. So I mean, today. there's the there's been lines. I, that's why I, I go, yesterday I saw a, mm-hmm. uh, a sign outside of GameStop. I was passing and said, "Hey, game event tonight, Monday night or something." I'm like, "Well, what the hell's coming out?" I, I, I didn't know. Um, but yeah, these Madden people will not. Yes, these people will not <laughs> wait. For the new mean? console, even if they're the kind of people that will buy that game new every yeah. time, will buy the the system new every time, they will mm. not wait for that new system. And if they're smart, I know they're doing this with Call of Duty. Um, it sh- they need to have that upgradable that I, whatever I've played in the next two months of Madden needs to streamline right into the next version of it uh, when I upgrade that for ten bucks in two mm. months, right? Um, yeah, um, and Microsoft said that Madden's not the only game that this is going to be available for. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking well, like Call gonna... of Duty will be one of them. I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm sure. they have There's to do a whole that. bunch of other ones. Um, but it's only for it's only for the ones that are are, are going to be upgraded the next gen system. I mean, these are for the crazy franchise ones. Everybody's going to buy anyways, but they will still want to get in before you know. The people are going to be stamping us, like you know, the second night when we bought this, uh, yeah. because they've already been playing it ridiculously. You know, uh, mm-hmm. that's you know, that's what this is for. Uh, so hey, hey, smart on them, and it's really cool that they're able to link that over. You know, that we're at this part of this ecosystem where we can say, and this is the first time we've had this, right? Like we've been yeah, saying, this is the yeah. first time we've had, and and that's more incentive for you not to buy the yeah. other guy. Yeah. If you're already exactly. on the Xbox, um, so and I'm hoping and in everything I heard, like from the Call of Duty, I, I think Xbox was the example they kept giving, um, and I'm not sure if PlayStation was the same way. I think PlayStation is going to have a similar upgrade system for their games, but mm. I'm, I'm, can't well, I'm, I'm, right I'm, I'm not even was. talking about the upgrade system. Oh, okay. I was more talking about the ability because they were talking about I play Call of Duty Ghosts on the 360 at home. I go over to my friend's house that has just the one, um, yeah. and I can still play all my my version of me and when I log in. So I think that's I mean, it's cool that we do have that cross compatibility in the account side of things, even if the games aren't going to be cross compatible. So, yeah. all right. All right, our uh, final news story for the night. Um, Grand Theft Auto V Online. Yeah. Uh, coming in October. Um, what do you guys think of uh, what they announced? I'm in. Uh, I haven't seen if they did anything new, <laughs> but the fact that they're doing a persistent world that's more gta and you know, frankly I, I have not gotten into four yet uh i just just have just haven't uh for no real reason but my own fault uh but yeah the idea of gta online excites me as a new the, frontier for them the yeah. idea of gta having missions even though if it was on a, on if it was already on battle to be tony like Chachi was explaining before mm-hmm. the, the the fact that they are producing this with missions, yeah, with, with NPCs objectives that, are giving them missions that you can too. do with safe houses. I'm still, mm-hmm. it's it's blowing my mind the way they describe. You can get a property and decorate it and have people over for parties. You know Party. what? You know what that reminds me of? You know, there's something, and I found out recently because I talked to somebody that that worked on this uh, on one of the Second podcasts. Second Life. Second Life. Which, by Second the way, life. is still a thing. Yes, um, I, it, yes. <laughs> somehow it's still a thing. Oh, yeah, there's every reason for it still to be a thing, as long as they're keeping up with the technology and everything. I mean, they're, yeah. they're like 
this is a whole nother nation at this point. They, ha they have their own currency. Uh, but GTA, uh, if they have this kind of more social aspect to it, so think Second Life, but with hookers. I understand there's probably hookers yeah. in Second Life, but more, oh, you know, we thought of hookers to begin life. with, with GTA Online, right? Ooh, you get a uh, as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, a or real that cat. is a cat. Or yeah. is a cat, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, no, I'm excited for it. Um, but which brings us to our boss uh, battle question. What part of GTA Online are you guys most excited about? The party. Just, the parties. The no. Partying with I'm, the drugs I'm, well, and the guns and, and the alcohol and drugs and drugs. I, I am drugs. the most – I'm the most excited about being able to watch the, the – mayhem from up in your tower apartment that you have you just watch the watching crazy it stuff all that happens. unfold below you just that idea yeah. that like think about how how much like even G going back to gta 3 it was all kind of like felt alive mm -hmm. now it is alive yeah you know like there could be you could do, 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 do walking down the street to whatever the heck you wanted to go to and there's some police chase that goes by that's it's actually a, somebody you know it's a living breathing city <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. And I imagine they're going to cordon this off and do like you get on a server or something, right? Like, I think yeah. I think it's only sixteen people, right? Sixteen people in one world. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not so much I'm going to drop in, and um, but it is going to be uh, maybe do maybe we well we establish a room for the mayhem guys and they all drop in. Mm -hmm. You know, is that is that what we're thinking and here? We all take our pants off. Well, that's about what uh, I'm not going to take my pants off. That, that's about what yes, we play. You are. Your digital, that's you a, take your pants. It's digital pants off. <laughs> that's that's what, about what we play in Call of Duty, right? I think like 16 players at a time. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Okay. And you so know how much fun. And you know how much fun that is on a headset with the people that we play with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> You imagine just the entertainment value alone. I think, I think, you know what I think this becomes? I think this is another avenue where it becomes a little more. I think, I think somebody's going to do a, a uh, uh, red versus blue thing with this because I think it's going to give them a lot of tools to do that with. I oh, mean, yeah. they could kind of already do it with GTA, but the, the, the fact and that they can get more people in a persistent world like this, I think they could have a little more fun with it. And like I said, you can pinpoint where I got excited for this game. Yeah, is to have the multiplayer missions and have them st strategize. I almost said strat. Uh, I can't speak Strategize. today. Strategize. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> word. Um, but to have the strategy to come about doing an action, like going through here, or and you can go over there and do this. Sword, you go over there. Bobby, you just sit in the corner and cry. <laughs> this is what um, I don't want to take my pants off. <laughs> this is this is what I wanted the the free roam to be. Yeah. When it first started. Yeah. I wanted missions like this, and now it's happening. I don't know. I I, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Hold on, because I, because I want a little taste in, in advance of this. I'm trying to pick my avatar for Second Life. <laughs> All right. Oh, I could be this. I could be this Keanu Reeves looking dude. Do it, the Keanu Reeves looking the dude. Oh, he's moving. So there we well, go. They, they they did update the graphics. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, they have to on this. I mean, you think about how much they've they've updated uh, Warcraft. You know, mm -hmm. since it's been on. Coming um, soon. Oh, Third it's guy. available. I can be Sorgatron on here. And nice. I look like Keanu Reeves, and there's my important information coming up here. Uh, so we'll get out of that. Uh, coming soon, third life, where your second life character has a third life. Exactly. <laughs> I was in the the office one time. Was it? Dwight Schrute made a second life. That's right. <laughs> second life. Oh, yeah. that's right. Because they kept showing him flying, right? I mean, that was, that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like man. He's, he's just sitting there playing Second Life. Oh, Drew Carey's a big in the Second Life too, I think. I think I'm about to become addicted. So, yeah, it, well, I, I, have, I have dabbled in the Second Life. You've dabbled in the dark arts of Second Life? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And it's okay. I conjured a wizard. There, There's a lot of places that you can go to. Okay. But there are a lot of places that you can't. 
<laughs> okay. Just well, let's go back to the there. topic at hand. Uh, Chachi, you haven't yeah, chimed yeah. in yet. What, what are your thoughts on GTA 5 online? Yeah, it's, it's somebody... I'll, say, I'll, I'll say it when it's done. You see when it's done? Um, I, imagine, I, I imagine that it will end up being like a, a, a Call of Duty for us. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Just because it'll be something different. Um, yeah. So I think it'll be... I think it'll be fun. Guys, we can meet not, on the goal. It's yes. definitely a new experience. So, I mean, kudos to Rockstar. I call dibs on helicopters. And, and this is my only problem <laughs> with it. all helicopters. Is any time that there's been multiplayer that isn't fighting game or, or uh, first-person shooter, I, I've tried a little bit of Max Payne. I've tried a little bit of the Assassin's Creed, uh, uh, Creed 3. And it mm -hmm. always feels lacking to me. Has anybody else experienced this? Like, it always yeah, feels like not quite as fluid, not quite as, I don't know, as, you know, popping into a Call of Duty. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to that play style or what. Has anybody else, has anybody else, has anybody else dropped into some game like this that we can maybe quasi-relate to GTA? I can, I can quasi-do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring up your example, too. Okay. Uh, Max Payne 3, there is the, like, the mission... You can get a deemed death match or something, but there's also a I think I forget what it's called, but there's a story mode, okay. and it and it goes it's it's two teams that have beef with each other, like say the police and their local gang, uh, or 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 family versus family. Uh, this one has a a mission where it goes, okay, you have to defuse this bomb, or you have to go over here and do this. And then if you do that, there's one other, there's another mission that comes along. And then if you don't do that, there's a totally different mission hmm. that plays off of what you just did. Interesting. I'll have to go check that so, out. So it's, it, but it's, it's a small piece of what I think GTA and, and of course, Rockstar have in their arsenal right now. By the way, currently installing Second Life to this old laptop. <laughs> See how that goes. It's going to explode. Uh, first life. <laughs> um, hey, from the chat room, Juggler John says, uh, I said if they promise a zombie mo mode, I'll go to GameStop and buy it tonight. I know zombies are almost played out. A zombies in a full working city is all I want. Stop effing around and give it to me. Um, yeah. It, Dead Rising is the closest I can think of. Yeah, and even that's kind of, you know, arcadey, you know, from from what I play. The, the Dead Rising Two, Dead Rising Two, I want to check out because actually, uh, well, they have that online yeah, thing, but free. don't they have a thing where you can drop into a co op at any time with somebody? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, that seems that seems interesting. Um, and again, this is a several year old game, but still, oh, I could buy shoes. Ooh, <laughs> sword's gonna accessorize right now. Accessorize. Okay, so All right, Bobby, Bobby, take us home. Bobby, take us home. <laughs> so sword can accessorize. Guys, I think I'm going back to the Bible. I games. got a world. I got a world to build. <laughs> All right, um, you can follow us on uh, tw on Twitter on at InsertCoinTV. Um, you can go to the website at insertcointobegin.com. And our challenge, like we said at the top of the show, for next week is Action 52. So um, play that and let us know what you think. Um, as for us, it's game over.